good evening doctors good evening doctors and our today's topic is hypothyroidism so i am going to explain you about hypothyroidism what does it mean hypothyroid hypothyroid means my dear friends there is reduction of thyroid hormone reduction in thyroid hormone this is known as hypothyroidism so uh, my dear friends uh, in hypothyroidism firstly i am going to explain you a little bit and then we are going to do the classification treatment investigation everything there is a reduction in thyroid hormone so firstly you if you haven't watched my endocrine physiology lecture so please watch that lecture endocrine physiology uh, i am going to explain the thyroid axis and what happens with uh, okay let her uh, let her the thyroid hormone reduction what else happens here the tsh level ro what happens with tsh tsh increases here in hypothyroidism t3 and t4 decreases my dear friends decrease sign and what else happen here you know what t3 and t4 bind with with i'm writing by this way t3 and t4 bind with uh, thyroid globulin thyroid tbg thyroid binding globulin that's why if we want to investigate the hypothyroidism we need to take a free t3 and free t4 why because they are not bind with with nt so tsh and free t3 t4 level we are going to measure in it and uh, what else uh, i want to explain you about kind of symptoms in hypothyroidism you know what a basal metabolic rate bmr basal metabolic rate decreases decreases so i am going to start from here till the bottom in both male and female what kind of symptoms hypo means you know what hypo means low everything low if we thought about cns depression depression decrease depression on cns from top to bottom we are going to come depression and what it control our brain reflexes so decrease reflexes reflexes my dear friend decreases here all the reflexes of body decreases cold intolerance cold intolerance okay in cns okay i am going to write in this way depression decrease reflexes cold intolerance fatigue these all are related with cns or central nervous system and uh, then come down here on neck what we see like neck goiter goiter a loss thyroid gland is known as goiter my dear friends and uh, what hell uh, else happen here there is a uh on heart if we think heart we take heart on cbs system on heart uh it includes bradycardia bradycardia low heart rate and hypotension low i already told everything goes down in hypothyroidism if we think about now gi tract GIT. There is constipation. Why constipation? Because low metabolism, gut motility decreases. That's why here constipation occurs. Patient is very lazy. If we think about like uh, here, here alopecia, low hair growth or absence of hair. Here alopecia, my dear friends. these are the symptoms and um, if we think about uh, some more other systems like kidney uh, there is also some effect edema edema occurs in hypothyroidism my dear friends slow tendon reflex uh, if we think about female in female it causes what in female it causes menorrhagia 
what is menorrhagia i am going to explain in of any videos my so menorrhagia is more than 80 ml blood loss per day in normal uh, periods okay it known as menorrhagia galacturia these are the symptoms my dear friends it's very very necessary to understand and uh, tongue and laws tongue and laws in hypothyroidism you have to remember if you see such kind of patient such reflexes slow reflexes holds dry skin skin if we see dry skin cold and tolerance everything carpal tunnel syndrome tunnel syndrome if metabolism is slow so everything digests slowly slowly what going to happen weight gain excess weight gain here lot of weight gain my dear friends in this and i am going to ex i hope till here uh, for every hypothyroidism symptoms are nearly same and uh, these are we are going to identify and uh, now i am going to wrap this one okay my dear friends and then we are going to continue another now classification and how to identify and how to diagnose hypothyroidism these are the symptoms so on clinical basis patients going to explain you and this topic is my very very well so now i am going to explain you what kind of hypothyroidism firstly primary primary hypo i am going to write in this way hypothyroidism primary and what kind of hypothyroidism firstly we have to know in there what was the problem here the thyroid gland reduction thyroid gland problem in primary thyroid gland problem in thyroid gland problem so hypothalamus hypo i am going to write in this way it is hypothalamus then thyroid releasing hormone then anterior pituitary goes in and then anterior pituitary uh, releases uh, here tss <coughs> thyroid stimulating hormone then uh, here it is to uh, it goes to thyroid gland so our problem in primary is thyroid gland it releases t3 and t3 and t4 so my dear friends in case of primary hypothyroidism there is a uh, problem in uh, thyroid gland okay what was going to be happen if thyroid gland is not working properly that means Uh, the level of T3 and T4, what was going with them? They are going down, releasing less T3 and T4. So what happened in primary? T3 goes down, T4 goes down. But what happened with TSH? Uh, if it gives a signal to hypothalamus that in our body T3 and T4 is low, so what happens? TRH increases. Why TRH increases? Because they uh, misinterpreted. Uh, Uh, body level decrease uh, hormone decreases so anterior pituitary also release tsh more but t3 and t4 is low in case of primary that's why the problem is so what happens tsh here increases you know my dear friends what was the normal value of tsh it is 0.5 till 4.5 okay so i hope till here it understandable for you so now we are going to discuss what kind of primary hypothyroidism there is a most common worldwide is iodine deficiency deficiency hypothyroidism is the most common worldwide second one is hashimoto hashimoto's thyroiditis in my lecture hashi uh, in my lecture thyroiditis i already explain about the hashimoto thyroiditis here also we are going to discuss i am going to explain again so my dear friends don't worry and other one is like by radiation sometimes radiation is used hypothyroidism sometimes radioactive iodine uptake hypothyroidism sometimes drug induced drug includes which drugs amiodarone lithium sulfa drugs these are the drugs which causes the hypothyroidism my dear friends acetyl salicylate also
so what was the treatment in such cases you have to take the history of patient which drug he is taking and then stop these drugs okay so it was a treatment in such cases uh, so my dear friends or any thyroiditis fifth one is any thyroiditis it causes hypothyroidism so i hope till here it's clear thyroiditis i already represent a individual lecture so now we i'm going to explain you what is hashimoto thyroiditis hd i'm going to write this is already explained in thyroiditis lecture but here i'm going to explain again it is chronic autoimmune destruction of thyroid gland thyroid gland autoimmune destruction of thyroid gland and uh, which causes the t3 and t4 level down and tsh increases why this happen due to tpo antibodies thyroid peroxidase antibodies are uh, due to the tg thyroid globulin antibodies uh, it uh, destroys the thyroid gland in such a way so what else here happen it is associated with some disease like autoimmune sle rheumatoid arthritis like psoriatic psoriasis hlb27 associated and pvc it is primary biliary cirrhosis these are always associated uh, sometimes associated with autoimmune diseases my dear friends and uh, what are the complications complication hypercholesteremia you know what uh, the hypercholesteremia cholesterol Yeah, hyper cholesterol. Cholesterol level increases, lipid profile increases, bad lipids increases, and uh, there is anemia of chronic disease (ACD). I am going to write here. And what else? Hyponatremia, electrolyte disbalance, hyponatremia. And what was the most accurate accurate uh, test? Is biopsy. Surgical biopsy is the most accurate, but we are not going to take in all the cases. And treatment by levothyroxine. Levo thyroxine. I hope. Uh, I think uh, you do not need uh, these doses, but I am going to tell you 1.6 microgram into kilogram body weight. So see, if patient weight is, I think uh, it's nearly 50 kg. So 1.6 into 50, and that was the microgram doses we need to give. Uh, if patient is i uh, this is the primary hypothyroidism if patient is pregnant if she is pregnant then what uh, we need to do uh, in case of pregnancy hypothyroidism can damage uh, fetus and it causes cretinism mental growth development so it's very much necessary to uh, recheck thyroid tsh levels in pregnancy if it is between 5 till 9 we need to uh, check tpo antibodies also but in pregnancy we have to be very sure um, uh, okay my dear friends and because there is a fetal can be developmentally disturbed cretinism in case of hypothyroidism if we are not going to rule out in first trimester we need to check the tsh level and if tpo antibodies is positive then we we need to treat that one if it is between 5 and 7 sometimes it's physiologically also increases so consult with doctor okay you can ask me also about this question i can explain you because i already uh, have experience in such cases uh, so my dear friends uh it is very important i hope primary hypothyroidism is clear for you now we are going to and doses doses are not very important for you because doses we need to titrate and we need to recheck uh by our on practice so this is for a theory course i hope this will help you enough information now we are going to discuss about secondary and tertiary hypothyroidism what is secondary and what is tertiary hypothyroidism my dear friends this is the i already do okay here i am going to draw again tss thyroid gland and then it releases t3 and it releases t4 okay uh, so in secondary what is going to be happen secondary hypothyroidism in secondary hypo there is a problem in a uh, uh, in secondary hypothyroidism there is a problem in where where do you think uh there is the problem in anterior pituitary 
in second. So if anterior pituitary is not working properly, that's why here the DSH level goes down. And if DSH is less secreted, so thyroid hormone secreted less T3 and T4. So what was happened? Why secondary? Due to tumor of pituitary. Pituitary tumor or any mass. It causes TSH decreases, T3 decreases, T4 decreases. Pan hypopituitarism, not pan, but here it is TSH, T3, T4 decreases. But in case of tertiary, tertiary hypothyroidism, what was happen? There is decreasing, there is a problem in hypothalamus. So, hypothalamus problem, it releases less TRH, less TSH, less T3, less T4, everything goes down in tertiary, my dear friends. I hope till here it's clear for you. And I already told the complication of hypothyroidism. The complication of the hypothyroidism, I explained that one is hypercholesterolemia, anemia of chronic disease, and uh, there is a complication is mixed edema coma. Okay, so now we are going to discuss about the mixed edema coma. What is it? Now I am going to write uh, mixed edema coma. Sedema coma. It is a life threatening condition. Life threatening. Life threatening condition in which due to untreated hypothyroidism it's a very severe thyroidism condition my dear friends uh, why this is happen this is happen with uh, insult infection causes medication some I already explained which one prolonged exposure to cold exposure to cold okay my dear friends and what else symptoms symptoms A L O C S X and right right acute loss of consciousness patient loses consciousness in mixed edema coma and what else coma coma delirium such situations occur is stupor it's a very severe condition lethargy patient is lethargic bradycardia like hypothyroidism system brady hypo hypo is hypotension here decrease rr respiratory rate lows down sign of pleural effusion here pleural and pericardial cardial effusion fusion my dear friends here and uh, so try to understand in such situation we need to uh, ask cbc cbc there wbc left shift because wbc counts increases neutrophil increases we are going to electrolytes laboratory see sodium level hyponatremia severely hyponatremia so what we are going to treat treat with iv levothyroxine I am going to tell you my dear friends in India um, I haven't seen levothyroxine IV not available okay but uh, we can give low do high doses of thyroxine it's very severe severe very very severe condition mixed edema coma so we can see firstly ABC also airway breathing and circulatory system so we can if uh, if there is oxygen deficiency yes oxygen deficiency we need to give 100% oxygen because there is hypoxia stupor uh, oxygen and if patient is hyponatremic severely we can give 3% NaCl sodium chloride my dear friends I hope it's clear for you if you watch my more videos like endocrine physiology and everything and some videos on hypothyroid, hyperthyroid, thyroiditis, thyroid cancer and thyrotoxicosis. If you are going to watch all these videos, your concept is going to be very very clear and you need to read books also sometime for more information. I hope if you watch my videos, you are getting enough information. 
you can answer any question easily you can crack any examination because they are asking only basics thank you for watching my channel and watching my videos if you haven't subscribed my channel still now so please don't forget to subscribe it please subscribe my channel and if you like my video please put like on it and if you want to study any topic individually you can ask me i am going to put video on that and if you want any kind of improvement on my videos please write me a message or comment i am going to uh, improve my videos uh, more uh, so my dear friends thank you thank you have a good night Good day. Welcome.